we are going to use something today for math that we haven't used for quite a while. Do you remember our number bonds? Well, since we've been working on subtraction, I'm going to give you a little secret about these number bonds that might make it just a little bit easier. Now, we're going to do some on our paper first, and then we're going to do some on the chart paper without having our little pieces to use. So I'm going to start by showing you my number bond paper. And remember, we've got part and a part, and that makes the whole. So our whole number might be... three, and we can make three by using two buttons and one button would give us three buttons. Okay, so if part of my number is oops, three and part of my number is two, if I put two and three together, I'm going to end up my whole thing the number is going to end up to be five. All right. Now, the tricky part is sometimes when we have the whole thing and we have to break it down into parts. Now, if you are good at subtraction, you should be pretty good at this. So let's say my whole thing is let's go with seven so I'll put four up there put one more down here so my whole number is seven now if i said that part of that was four so i'm going to put that in the part the other part of the number if the number was seven part of it is four the other part of it has to be three. Right. Now I could do seven a different way. I could say I have seven and part of the number is five. So that means the other part of my seven has to be a two. Is that making sense? Are you remembering that? Okay, now I'm going to show you up here on my chart paper, but because I'm not going to have pieces, if you're good at subtraction, this will be pretty easy. Okay, so I'm going to show you my, I tried to make some circles by tracing around a cup. Some of them turned out a little better than others. So let's say the whole number, let's start with an easy one. Let's say the whole number is four and part of that number is three. So that would be like putting, I can hold these up here. Whoops. It would be like having four buttons And three of those buttons are going to come up here. So I'm left with one button. So did you see kind of what I did? I had four. I put three over here. So that would be like saying four, take away three. And down here would be one. Because these two numbers added together, three plus one equals four. But if I have four and I put three of them over here, how many do I have left to put down here? I only have one left down there. All right. I'm hoping this is making sense. This is one of those where it would be so much easier if we were in person. So I'm hoping that whoever's working with you today can help you if you don't quite understand. Let's put a six here. So my whole number is six. Now, out of that six, I'm going to put two of them over here. So that's kind of like saying I have six, but I put two here, so I took away two. So what's my number down here going to be? Did you guess it was going to be a four? I shouldn't say guess. You knew it was going to be a four because I need a four to add to my two 
to make six. Just like if I have six and I take away two, I have six, I take away two, one, two, I have four left. So there's my four. All right, let's try another one. Let's try number eight. The whole thing is an eight and part of it is five. So I have eight. I put part of, I put part of them over here, put five of them over here. So I had eight. I took away five for part of it. So there's my eight. I took away five. So how many do I have left? Great. And remember, I can check. Is this five plus three, eight? It is. So then I know I got that one right. Now I'm going to do a big number, but I think you're going to be able to figure this out. I'm going to put a 10 there. Okay, so 10 is my whole number, but part of it is five. And I'll bet those of you that know, if you have 10, part of it is five, you're left with five. And you can check because of 10, take away five equals five. Or I could check by adding is five plus five equals 10. Now, if you want more practice with that, have the adult that's helping you today set some of these number bonds up, or perhaps you could even draw them out yourself. So using your adding and subtracting skills, you should be pretty good at those number bonds. Remember, the whole part's a little bigger. If you're gonna draw it, the parts, the circle parts are just a little bit smaller. So. Good luck with those number bonds.